All right, so yesterday uh, it was raining all day long from uh, the time we woke up all the way until bedtime. It rained and uh, we had a little bit of a leak. The first indicator was once we pulled out of the driveway that ran that had a slanted forward, uh, the leak immediately stopped. So the suspicion that it's coming from those cables because we were leaned forward is looking pretty clear now. Once we get back to the lot that we're staying at, we're going to back in instead of pulling forward so that we're pitched um, upward instead of uh, downward so that the water will run towards the back of the rig and uh, hopefully that will solve the issue for today and tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. I'll get up on top and put some caulk around the uh, back side of those cables. And that leak was actually coming from right about here. If we look down here at this seam, you can see these different cables coming in. And when we were parked with the front of the unit downhill, the water was running this way and it was running up under here. And we assume that there's some type of leak under here. Um, so I was gonna get some sealant to put underneath there, but I think we've decided that uh, we're gonna get the whole roof uh, redone. And uh, we've got to take the unit in for some other repair items. So right now, considering it's a bit rushed before the uh, cold weather hits, we may just have them uh, do the reseal for us this year and uh, stay ahead of things on maintenance uh, rather than trying to do everything ourselves and fall a little bit behind because we've only got uh, one more weekend before we get in the house. And then we're going to put this in storage for about eight weeks before we head down to Florida. We want to have it nice and sealed up before we put it in storage. No, uh, no leak issues for when we uh, get ready to head to Florida. So that's what the issue is. So keep in mind, if you run cables along the roof of your unit, or if somebody has, that the weak point may be as the water's running this way. So considering that if you park downhill at all, that water's going to run right in from these and then just follow those cords right into the back of the TV area, most likely. A lot of the channels talk about their favorite products. We haven't done so very much yet, but uh, while I was up here, I figured I would talk about this extension ladder, this telescoping ladder that we have. I'll put all the details about the ladder in there, but it's a 12 foot telescopic ladder and it's really served us well. In fact, the way this Canyon Star Newmar is built, because it's a toy hauler, the ladder is, has to be taken off of the back when you are driving. So instead of having to figure out a way to store that big long ladder and then hook it up every time, we're just gonna put that ladder in our garage and then use this 12 foot telescopic ladder for our ladder needs in the unit. It folds down to about, I think it's about three and a half, four feet, so it fits really good in one of the compartments.